Welcome back to Living Local. Studies show that the performing arts offer students benefits that extend far beyond a standing ovation. Students involved with drama gain life skills and confidence, creativity, body language, teamwork, and a lot more. Today we're taking a look at what the Davenport North Drama Department is up to and how you can support what it's doing to enrich the lives of local students. Joining me in studio we have Leslie LaCourt, uh, Jacob Hansen, and Riley Tukey. They are with the Davenport North Drama Department. You guys, thank you so much for being here. You're welcome. You. Good to be here. Well, I will just say on a personal note, my involvement with drama in junior high, high school, and college was, played an instrumental role in me gaining the skills that I use for this career that I'm doing right now. So love, love, love the impact that drama can have on someone's life. Uh, Leslie, let's start with you. What led you to the role as director of the drama department at Dra Davenport North? Um, I, so I did the same as you. I had theater experiences all the way through school and then started in community theater. Uh, but once I got my teaching license and we moved to Iowa, I started directing at the high school level. So I've been with these guys for six years over at Davenport North. That's fantastic. Now, Riley and Jacob, what made you guys want to get involved with drama? There are so many other activities that you could be doing out there. Why did you want to invest your time in drama? Uh, well, I'd have to say that um, in, in eighth grade uh, was my first time I ever did a show. Um, and I did it just because my friends were doing it, and it was really fun. And it was a it was a comedic show called um, No Place Like Nowhere. But coming into high school, I um, I was like, hey, I should that'd be a great way to meet more friends. And I've stayed because the people there are just so great. And um, now we're doing a serious show, but I still like it. It's fun. That's awesome. What about you? Um, I can't say why I came really, but I can say that like my first time where I really thought like oh, I enjoy this was either my seventh or eighth grade year, I was in an English class and we did an episode just as like an assignment of the Twilight Zone. Mm -hmm. And I remember my teacher said to me, he goes, I want you to yell through the walls. And I think both Mrs. LaCour and many of the actors and actresses that I say on stage today with uh, can attest that I still do that. <laughs> <laughs> that is yeah. awesome. Um, so guys, uh, you guys will be presenting the curious incident of the dog in the nighttime. Leslie, why did you select this production? Well, that's a hard question. Um, always we're looking for stories that I think our students can tell. So that's my first concern. And then we always try to do a little bit of a variety. So last year was pretty comedy heavy. Um, and I thought it's probably time for these kids to try something a little bit more serious. Also, this show has um, some great kind of themes that I think these guys will probably talk about. But And it also allows six of the people in the show to play multiple characters mm. so it gives them a challenge that probably they wouldn't normally get um, and then it gave these guys a real serious challenge for the roles are difficult um, they make them stretch a little bit so that's why um, and it's definitely challenging so gotta ooh, love those not challenging an easy roles. Task. <laughs> <laughs> that's where most of the growth is right so riley and jacob tell us about the storyline and some of the themes that play out uh, so in this story, um, it revolves around this uh, boy named Christopher Boone, and um, basically it starts, he's outside in his neighborhood, and he sees that his neighbor's dog has been murdered, um, and at first, because, I mean, he's like the first person to know this, people think it's kind of him who might have done it, and so there's some suspicion on him, and so he decides that he's going to set out to discover who killed his neighbor's dog, Wellington. Um, but what's different about the story, in, and they never, it's based after a novel as well, um, but in the novel and in the play, they never have a specific diagnosis, but um, in past productions of the show and just some of the characteristics of him that you can see, um, he's likely somewhere on the autism spectrum, so he views things differently than everyone else. So the play, as much as it's a mystery and him trying to find out who killed this dog, um, it's also looking at how he perceives the world and sees things differently than everyone else. Wow, that sounds like such a fascinating storyline. Uh, guys, tell me what the rehearsal process is like for you guys. What's challenging? What do you enjoy? Well, uh, specifically for this show, it was very much, we had to think about what um, Christopher was thinking about because the characters who are changing characters throughout, they are the story, they are the scenes. So we really have to dive deep into Christopher's mind and think about what stresses him out what's going to make him happy and what's going to make him calm. And so with this one, it was a lot of reading and a lot of physical interaction to see what played off the best. 
But with other shows, it's a lot different for shows like Les Mis. It's a whole lot of singing and being a choir person. Mm -hmm. And uh, with dance heavy musicals, like In the Heights or something like that, it's a lot of dancing. Mm -hmm. Awesome. So um, as you guys are going through the rehearsal process, what kind of skills do you think that you're gaining through your experience with theater? Uh, well, definitely. Uh, I actually uh, second term started just at North, and I'm taking a literature class, and you analyze literature. But a lot of it is similar to like when you have a get a character in a role, um, especially this one, which is based after a novel. Um, you do naturally, as an actor, look at the character and figure out, you know, what motivates them. What are their what's causing them to act the way that they do. And that helps with my literature class, actually. <laughs> yeah, and I feel like that can give a sense of empathy, too. If you are practicing these skills of seeing why people do things and maybe developing some compassion for people, I think that would be a great skill, too. And I'm sure that it boosts your confidence. And I know for me, like just getting that adrenaline rush of being uh, front up stage, and it, it really helped with my public speaking skills. But I'm sure that you guys are f feel the same. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Um, Leslie, from your perspective, how have you seen theater be a growth tool for students? So I told these guys I'm going to throw it back at them, but um, <laughs> I think what happens is that they have to work with a small group of people and they have to solve problems and they can't anticipate those problems so that when they leave the theater program, a lot of times they have skills they don't know they had. And that means they, they're employable, um, they know how to work with people even if personalities are clashing or um, it's definitely not a perfect world in the drama department. So um, a lot of drama in the drama a department. A lot of drama. <laughs> but I think that's what it is. I think they have to use so many different skills and a lot of times they have to do it under pressure. Mm -hmm. That that is something they take with them as a skill set. I'm sure years down the road you guys will reflect back and, and realize just the magnitude of skills that you have reaped from this experience. Now, real quick before we go, um, when can people see the production and how can they get tickets? So shows are Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Friday and Saturday at 7 and Sunday at 2. And they can get tickets if they go to our website, which is Devonport North Drama at weebly.com. Fantastic. Leslie, Jacob Riley, thank you guys so much for being here. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. All right, guys, for more information, as Leslie said, you can visit davenportnorthdrama.weebly.com. We'll also have the details posted on our quadcities.com. More Living Local returns after the break.